What time is it my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today we are gonna be doing a video on Shopify and how to add a video to your website. And I'll explain this, um, what I mean. So most people know how to add a YouTube video to your site, but what if you wanna just add your own video to your site and not rely on YouTube um, because of the new rules that YouTube has, um, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, they just came out with something that stated that they're allowed to advertise on all your videos no matter what. So sometimes that can be annoying and sometimes you don't want the YouTube branding and you just want to have your own branding. So this is the way to do it. Now Shopify is a little bit different than WordPress, it's a little bit different than any other type of coding. It's a lot more complex because it is actually designed for people who can't code. So I'm gonna show you a trick on how to add this cool little video to your website branded and all. Um, let me go ahead and play it so you could see. Take my head. But it does have some cute music, and I'll provide the link in the below if you want to go ahead and listen to that. Okay, so that's exactly what we're doing here. And I didn't spend a lot of time on this. I actually used a free app within uh, Shopify. And one of the things that I hate about Shopify, I'm going to say one of the cons, is that all of the apps cost way too much money. I don't like... Um, microtransactions where I don't know if that's the right word it's where they like subscription you know whatever it, I think it's like subscription slavery where you're enslaved to them for the rest of your life for like seven or eight dollars or most of them are not even 70 or eight dollars they're ridiculous they're like some of them are 30 40 50 and even a hundred I don't know about you but I don't want to pay that much money a month. That's ridiculous. So the cool thing about these videos is that you can also use them in your Etsy shop. Now Etsy has this new feature where you can add video. Video is the wave of the future. And they don't have a spot to where you can put like a YouTube link. They want you to actually upload your own video. So I came into this huge issue where I had to upload video to several different sites. Same thing with Instagram, same thing with Pinterest. You can't really um, do that. So this led me to solve this issue. Um, now for me personally, I don't like paying a lot of money and I don't like stuff that you know takes a lot of time. Um, there's one one quote that Bill quote uh, Bill Gates not. Bill quote. <laughs> Bill Gates said that he always hired the lazy person to do the most difficult task because they would always find the easiest way to do it. And that's me. I'm that lazy bitch. So I am going to show you now how to set this up so you can have videos for your Etsy, like really cool branded ones, and then also on your Shopify to get them to load. All right. So if you have like one of those intro you know, um, free themes, which I do, um, they don't really allow you to have the video. So like if you try to insert video here, it's not going to work. Okay. So if you upload the video and you try to insert here, it's just not going to show up. I don't know why it doesn't work. It just, this feature just completely doesn't work. Shopify, if you're watching this, you need to get on it. So I found a workaround. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to use this app. So if you go to your Shopify, you go to apps and you go to Vimeo Create Video Maker. Now this video maker is free in Shopify, but if you go outside, like say for instance, you have a WordPress or Etsy site or you're not part of Shopify, you have to pay for it. Now there's features in here that you have to pay for, but I'm gonna show you how to do it without having to pay for anything. So <laughs> I digress. Let's go ahead and do this. So here in my video file or whatever you want to call it, I have created some of these videos. And if you click over, you can see 
um, that they're really cool. So let's go ahead and make a video so I can show you. So we're gonna click on this button called make a video. And we're gonna choose Shopify. You can you can make a Facebook or YouTube video, but um, I always pick Shopify because even for other formats, this works the best. So you can do like a pricing, you can do coming soon or new in stock, but I always do um, product focus. You can also do brand aware awareness or however you choose. So, um, so it's going to tell me to search for a product and I'm going to do real watercolors. So I want to make a video for this. I haven't yet. So it's not in here. Real. Okay. Okay. So it was under procreate and not real watercolors. Probably should check my SEO on that. So, um, there's different ones that you can use. My heart is in your hand, just take me. I don't know which one would, would be like just looking for like something that would look really good for. Uh, watercolor. Okay, so I guess I'm going to use the brush stroke one. So I'm going to customize this one. And I'm going to use those colors. And then you can pick a song. <laughs> so, of course, I chose this one. I like that. It's really like, um, what is it, <laughs> I don't even know if that's a word like synth, but I like to call it synthy. So you just, it doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of selections. So, I mean, just keep that in mind, but it's not like we need a whole lot of selections. We're just creating like 30 second demo videos and the sound won't even play on Etsy. So you don't have to worry about that. So, um, what I usually do is I put the name of the product, the price, get it now. Um, you don't have to put the price in here because if you change your price, that's going to be awkward and it's a lot harder to change your video. You don't want to go through this all again. So just, you can put the price in there or you can, you can make like duplicate videos. Um, I mean, that's totally up to you. Now, here is the sizing. The 1.1 ratio is for Etsy. The 1.1 ratio would be for your your site. Um, the 9.6 ratio um, would be for like stories or something like that. You could use 1.1 ratio for Instagram post. Um, and then the 16.9 would be for YouTube. Um, but you would need to actually increase your photo size if you're going to be doing 16.9 because it'll make them a little... Um, how should I say, Look, looking like stretched or like pixelated. So yeah, it wouldn't be as good of quality. So now it's going to like make the video for me. And it, this literally takes like two minutes. I'm like, this is taking longer because I'm talking and I'm explaining to you, but literally this takes like two minutes. So it's really cool. And while this is loading, um, let's talk about Oh God, 2020 has been such a fucking disaster. I don't even want to talk about it. So, so apparently it will not allow me to uh, copy and paste like it did before. And it's really strange because this size worked before in Etsy. So I don't know if Etsy's being weird, but um, we'll just go ahead and start over from the beginning. And you can do that just by going back to the app and clicking Vimeo Creator and then going back through the steps and then click. Okay, so go through all the same steps and then choose the 9.16 ratio for Etsy and see if that'll work. And it's going to create that. 
Okay, so for Etsy, use the 16.9, or you can go into Photoshop and create a 720 by 720, and then just drag the video in there and then save it out. I guess I'll make another video on how to do that. Or you can use Camstasia, which is a lot easier in my opinion, but whatever floats your boat. But this is the video that I made. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so and this is how it looks on Etsy. So here you can see I have the real watercolor brushes here, and then you have the advertisement video with my little logo there. And that's pretty much it. That's all it is. I think it's really cool how it does all of this animating for you. You don't you don't need to know how to animate or anything. That's how simple it is. Okay, so the next thing is you're going to want to get it into your Shopify. So how do we do that? The first thing that you might think that you will do is go here and click the video and that's not going to work. So what do we have to do? We have to actually go into the settings and upload the video first. To get to your video settings, you're going to go to home, and then at the bottom there is a settings, and I'm not sure if this is cutting it off, but it's on the bottom here and it looks like a cog, but because of the aspect ratio of YouTube, sometimes it cuts off my screen, but just trust me, it's at the very bottom. If you, if you follow my mouse, go all the way down into settings, click on that, and then you're going to see something called files. You're going to click on that. So upload files, files, and then uh, sort, sort, uh, shit, sort by type. Okay, where's my videos? Okay, there it is. Open. All right. So then, um, once you have this, you have this link here that you're going to need. So you're going to copy that, press Control C, all right, and then let's create a new Notepad file. So you're just going to type Note in Windows. I don't know what it is on a Mac if you have a Notepad or what, um, but I'm just going to save this link here, and then. I am going to go over here to my code that I saved. Okay, so this is already pre-made code. And then just copy and paste it. Now this code up here, what you're going to do is you're going to copy it. Control C, Control V. And right here in the parentheses, you see these like two little quotation marks. You're going to highlight that all the way because you're going to put it inside the quotation marks and then you're going to press control V and that's going to be your code. Okay. Now you're going to copy this whole thing and don't worry. I'm going to put the source code in, in the, the links below so you can see it. You're going to go back to your page and you're going to click on these little things that look like, like little arrows and it's going to say show HTML. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom, hit enter and then press control V. And then now, look, oh, there's your video. All right, and then you press save. And then now, if I go back out to my site and look up Procreate Brushes, the video will be there. So, and there's the video. Isn't that cool? So why would you go through all the trouble of adding video? Well, it's plain and simple. Um, for SEO purposes and then also for demonstration purposes, studies show that people are more likely to buy your product with a video versus not a video. And also Etsy, um, if you have an Etsy shop, you'll rank higher at the top if you're 
if your uh, products have videos on them. Most of them don't and most Etsy shop owners don't know how to make videos because they're not that smart. <laughs> so I would get on this and this is so easy like like a caveman could do this. This is like stupid simple dude and if you have any questions at all don't hesitate to ask because I will answer them. I love answering questions. I love you guys. I love you like I love my cat and gosh I squeeze that cat to death. I give her love and some kisses and and you know <laughs> I'm like totally use my cat as a squishy bear and I don't think that she likes it but I think she secretly likes it but anyways I digress so I hope that this really helps so if you guys were wanting to add video to your Shopify site um and you don't want to use YouTube because YouTube is being ridiculous um yeah there you go and I don't know why I talk in a weird voice sometimes it's just I don't know. I don't, I think that I might be mentally ill. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm just a weirdo. Just a weirdo. Anyways, um, uh, yeah. And, um, that's it for today, guys. So if you like this video, hit that subscribe button and have a great day. Cheers.